Welcome everybody, and I'm Oren Traku, and I'm here to share now my Becca build. Uh, this build uses... Uh, well, I'll just get right into the build and then get my explanation to it after. For Fever skill is Deadshot, Personal skill, Swift, Passive skill, Eagle Eye, Passive, uh, passive skill number 2, either Precision or maybe Creatures. Um, for the equipment, it's FMJ Rounds 3, Dog Tag, Long Barrel 2, and yes, even a First Aid Spray on Becca. Reason for why I'm running this thing, so the, for the dead shot, this allows your fever skill to not only be used for infinite ammo, but it also gives you a massive damage increase due to this build having very high crit damage. This get, makes you give do an insane amounts of damage by and greatly increasing your crit chance uh, during your fever skill. Useful for taking out a bio core. Useful for taking out bio weapons. If if you're playing if you're playing like your bio, uh, like a mastermind's playing a bio weapon, say Mister X. Becca uses her fever skill and starts shooting you at a shotgun. You want to get out because she's probably going to kill you in three hits. Like, she she will just down bioweapons insanely quickly during this. And that is one of the, the key uses of Becca. Um, personal skill swift. For the most part, I would only use I would only use this in low pressure situations to help am help you save ammo. If there's a couple preset zombies that are far away, you just wanna you have time to like just, you know, take them out while your, your team's doing other stuff. Generally, or you use it for taking out bio cores. For the most part, it's going to be used to take out bio cores. Um, her passive skill, Eagle Eye, it makes it so that she does uh, a huge amount of extra damage on critical hits. Extremely valuable. It, it's the greatest damage increase she can get, so when she does crit, the Mastermind's really going to feel it. Uh... And with the equipment that you run that has increased critical chance combined with Deadshot, uh, she can, with with some luck, do insane amounts of damage. And passive skill, either precision if your team can reliably land headshots, or creatures if they can't reliably hand, land headshots. If most of your team is killing things with body shots, you should probably go with creatures. But precision has, has overall provides more ammo if the headshots can be landed. The equipment, FMJ around sweet, more damage, just increasing your raw amount of damage. It also helps when you don't critic deal a critical hit. FMJ rounds three uh, add up in there. Dog tag increases your critical hit chance as well as your raw damage uh, combined with long barrel two. Uh, again, more crit chance. More crit chance is just very valuable on Becca with this build. Just because of how much damage her critical hits inflict. And then of course, oddly enough, first aid spray. Again, I've gone to my reasons why it's very useful. A lot of times someone goes down, no one else can revive, and having that that extra utility, the ability to bring someone back up, can be very crucial. And since Becca doesn't really have any utility, she's for killing zombies and sometimes getting ammo back, that's really all she has. So giving adding first aid spray plus to the mix can be uh, just provide her with something that she normally just doesn't have, similar to Sam. Gives her, it adds that utility, that ability for her to save the game. Um, and now, if, you, if you're just saying, screw that, I just want more damage, uh, then just go Supplements 3. But personally, I think the better option overall for Becca would be Global First Aid Spray. But yeah, Supplements 3 if you just want raw damage and nothing else. Anyway, that's it for me for playing for my Becca builds. And I will see you all another time. Take care now.